What's up everyone, welcome to S'mores and Doors. I am Corey, and tonight's video that I'm recording here is a reaction to my good buddy Garrett over at the Rad Pack and Born to be Rad. His nine movies that scared us uh, challenge. So I wanted to go through nine movies that I pulled out that were pretty, pretty scary to me as a kid or as a, a younger child. And uh, talk a little bit about those, so let's do it. So first up, this is a movie, um, I remember renting this from the video store. So this is one that came out when I was a little older, um, maybe an early teen or, you know, in that 11, 11 to 12 range probably. Um, but there was just something about this one that... Uh, you know, really affected affected me, and uh, it's a Stephen King movie, and it is sometimes they come back. Now, of course, this is a uh, story. The main actor Tim Matheson is is teaching a class back in his hometown, and um, his brother had been killed. Uh, I guess by this gang. Uh, I guess you would call them back in the day when they were kids. And um, as he's teaching this class, those members of that gang start to come back as students in his class start to die off. And they're coming back for him because they didn't finish the job with him when he was a kid. And it's really effective. I, I really feel like it's kind of a slow burn, but it's very, it's very creepy. It's very eerie. And uh, just a great movie. I, I really love, love sometimes they come back. Next one up is one that uh, I saw when I was pretty young. I used to go to my friend Jeff's house, and we would watch um, horror movies. His mom had just a massive VHS collection of movies she recorded off cable, off, you know, Showtime and things like that. And this is one I vividly remember. Watching it now, it's not really scary. Um, I have a lot of fun with it still. Because it reminds me of another movie I love. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, the movie is Night of the Comet. And I remember this one being scary because... Just a couple things. For one, I remember when they run into that police officer that's all disfigured. And that was kind of a scary a scary look. I always kind of anticipated that part when that came up. But uh, just the thought of being alone at... A young age when I watched this was you know something that was kind of a scary thought in my in my mind I was like what would I do without my family there to help me and and uh, keep me safe you know so um, like I said not a scary movie to me these days but uh, it always reminds me now for some reason I think because of the mall setting of, of uh, Dawn of the Dead so uh, just a movie I love and one that definitely creeped me out a little bit at parts uh, when I was a kid. Now this next one is one that I watched um, watched after I watched the sequel, uh, believe it or not. And uh, this the sequel is probably the first movie I ever really remember watching. Uh, we had cable when I was a kid, and um, this movie this movie sequel was on either Showtime or one of those channels like that. Um, and I watched it a ton because it was always on, as movies were on those channels. Uh, but then I finally saw the original. And not only did it terrify me, I was also obsessed with it. And um, it, um, I don't know, it's just... I always say if someone asks me what my favorite movie is of all time, I say is Jaws, and it was a uh, just it just developed an a curiosity in me about sharks and uh, a fear of the water as it did so many people, and um, just it's amazing now to hear the stories of how much trouble they had with that uh, shark. Uh, but it's so effective to me 
in the scenes that they had it working um, that it's just it terrified me so Jaws is my next one here's another one I saw uh, I think this came out in uh, early 90s and um, you know at that time I was in junior high but I still could be scared by movies uh, there's no doubt and one that did it because of a little a little thing that pops up in this movie was Candyman because at that time it was always the challenge to watch this and do the whole Bloody Mary thing you know in the bathroom say Candyman five times and and um, you know is he gonna show up so obviously it's ridiculous but but as a younger kid, your imagination runs wild, and um, things like that scare you. And this is still a damn creepy and effective movie, in my opinion. And uh, obviously, to me, it made Tony Todd a horror legend. So, um, Candyman scared me as a kid. Still very effective today. Now, as I said, Jaw, uh, Jaws 2, I saw before Jaws, the original. I also saw this movie before I saw the original as well. And I was very lucky. I had a, a mother that would um, um, show me horror movies and, uh, you know, took the time to kind of uh, curate a a list of movies for me to watch that she probably thought was was going to be okay for me to make it through. And another movie that was on TV all the time back when I was a kid uh, was Halloween 2. Now, like I said, I saw this one definitely, I'm almost positive, before I saw the original. The original, obviously, to me and to most people, is a classic. A lot of people talk about this being kind of the second half of that original one and uh, I don't disagree with that um, but this is this is one that really developed a love for Michael Myers for me and there's just some parts in this that creep me out the, the way uh, he walked down the stairs and, and the way they shot him walking down the stairs when he walks through the glass door freaked me out as a kid. I just remember that vividly uh, as well. And um, it's funny, when I was in college, I had to uh, get all the vaccines you have to get when you go to college. And one is a, was a TB test. So I had a uh, girlfriend at the time. She lived in another town, and it was time to get my TB test read. And they had a hospital there, and they said I could come in and get my test read there. And I walked in this hospital, and it's like completely dark. All the halls are dark, and there was no one around. And it just took me right into the set of Halloween 2. So it was um, it was kind of a creepy flashback to childhood and being afraid of this movie. So uh, Halloween 2 definitely developed an early love for horror in me and scared me as well. Now this one is a little different. Um, not a movie, it's a TV show. And to me, the most iconic introduction to a TV show was Tales from the Dark Side. When the intro to the show terrifies you, you know you've got a killer intro. And this intro definitely terrified me. And of course, some of the episodes did as well. You know, looking back on it now, there a lot of them are not the greatest. But there's one that I don't hear a lot of people talk about. And I think the episode's called A Case of the Stubborns. And it's a story about this family where their grandpa dies. But he keeps coming back downstairs to breakfast every day. And they, he's dead, but they can't get rid of him. And I, there was something about that episode that just scared the crap out of me. And um, I'll never forget it. 
I don't I don't know why. I knew every time they showed that episode, I was kind of on edge, and because uh, he just he deteriorates through the episode. You know, he keeps looking worse and worse, and uh, it's not a very scary episode. It's kind of like uh, campy and funny, but as a little kid when that was on, it was a uh, it was a terrifying episode. So. But that, combined with the intro to the show, just just amazing and scary for me when I was a kid. Three more to go, and these three are very special. have very special stories for me. Um, I remember going to a friend's house one night, and uh, he lived not too far from me, but, you know, several blocks and um, I, it had to be fall because we were going to go to his house after school and watch a movie. And by the time we got finished with the movie, it was dark out. So I had to ride my bike home in the dark. And the movie was the original Nightmare on Elm Street. And I remember watching this thing at his house and getting on my bike to go home at night. And I was terrified that Freddy was going to be around every corner I took my bike on. And it's one of the most... Uh, I don't know the right word for it. It was, it was one of the most terrifying experiences of my life. Going home that night from my friend's apartment. And, you know... Scared that Freddy was going to jump out of a bush and get me. So, um, terrified me. Still, to me, by far the best Nightmare on Elm Street movie. Um, it's scary and effective. And Robert England, to me personally, at its best. So, Nightmare on Elm Street. This one is a, uh, Another one that is not the scariest movie in the world anymore as an adult. And most people will probably not think it's terribly scary. Although some might. Um, but it terrified me as a kid. And uh, I have a funny little story to go with that. But it is the original Boris Karloff Frankenstein. Now my story with this is is watching this as a kid. My um, my mom and I lived with my grandparents, and um, we watched Frankenstein one night, and I'm I was really young, and I I don't know what I was thinking I was seeing, but I thought that I saw Frankenstein outside our living room window out out in the yard and I was I was pretty scared and uh my grandpa bless his heart um got his big coat and put it over his head and went out there and and he scared Frankenstein away so he wouldn't get me and um so i the movie scared me as a kid, but I have that fun memory of uh, my grandpa from back in the day kind of taking care of me and scaring Frankenstein away. So not only did it scare me as a kid, it's also a very special movie when it comes to a memory like that. So Frankenstein had to make the list. And last but not least, one, one thing that... I would do when I was a kid. Um, like I said, my my mom and I lived with my grandparents, and I would go a lot of places with my grandparents. And one place I went a lot was to my uncle's house, and we would go over there, have dinner or whatever, and watch a movie. And my uncle was another fan of. Um, he was a fan of everything, but he he liked scary movies too. And this is one he showed one night, and. Um, it's never, it's never left me, and um, I know there's probably a lot of people that haven't seen this. Uh, there's plenty of people that have. If if you're 
into the horror genre. You've probably seen it or know of it. Uh, but I think a lot of people that aren't so much into horror maybe haven't. And uh, it is The Hitcher. And I remember watching this and just thinking, had I, had I met, had I ran into Rutger Hauer anywhere back in the day when I was a kid around this time, I would have been absolutely terrified because his character in this movie is chilling and terrifying and scared the crap out of me as a kid. And one scene I remember in particular is when uh, C. Thomas Howell is in that diner eating the <laughs> eating the French fries, and he pulls one out and it's a finger. It just man, I that's another one of those scenes that I kind of was on the edge of my seat anticipating I knew it was going to happen because we watched this multiple times at his house and. Um, it's just one of those movies, again, all these movies are really, were terrifying to me as a kid, but they bring on special memories, and I, I think that's what this is all about. You know, this is why we love these movies, I think, is because we have such good memories attached to most of them. And I feel like you don't get that with every genre of movie. Um, there are plenty of dramas or even some comedies I've seen through the years. And it's like you watch it and there's really nothing attached to it. But uh, these movies and all the ones on my list, you know, I can watch them and it takes me back to those moments when I was a kid, when I was scared. Um, and, you know, maybe someone came and and um, did something special like my grandpa did there to to um, show me it was going to be all right. And uh, I was protected. So, you know, it's uh, I appreciate Garrett, Born to be Rad. I appreciate the Rad Pack for this, uh, this little um, challenge. It was fun to go through these movies and uh, really kind of made me want to watch some of those again uh, here pretty soon so I am Corey if you're checking out this channel for the first time um, through this challenge um, the channel is s'mores and doors we got a lot of cool stuff on the channel hope you check out some of the content I've got it's not just movie related stuff we do a little bit of everything around here so I appreciate everyone Hope you hit that like button if you like this video, if you like these movies. Of course, leave a comment if uh, some of these are your favorites as well. And, uh, yeah, until I talk to you guys again, take it easy.